Oh, shalom. Shalom Rastafari. As we've been mentioning some of the new some of the new books, we touched on this already. Um Charles uh William Eisenberg's uh Dictionary of the Amharic Language in two parts. It's available at www.lojsociety.org. We just wanna showcase some of the recent volumes and now th there's this one here. This is actually a comp this is the Guz. This is the Guz Kabra Nagas. And we have it right here. So if we can this is the Kubra Nagasht Nagasht. Kubra Nagasht or the Kabra Nagas, as many would say. This is the Ethiopic text and the manuscript being a facsimile of the original Ethiopic text or the Gutas and the manuscript of the Queen of Sheba and her only son Minulik translated into English by Sir E. A. Wallace Butch. And this right here is a special Jubilee printing with a new um, a new printing forward and a an introduction by yours truly by Ine Rasia Dinos Teferi. Now this volume is part of a series, this particular volume. So we have some of the text here. Actually this this right here is a companion to this. In other words, these two these two right here would go together. This one, right, this right here, Kubranages, right? And then we have um this right here, this the black cover one is the recent one, but this is the gutters for this right here. So this is the gutters, and this is this is this is the new publication we have, the gutters covered in the guest. Now, this volume here, as we say here, um, is intended to serve as a when we say useful Amharic primer. It's gutters, but it's a it's an Amharic primer. Because in our Amharic studies, we're going to our very root. And since many already are familiar with the Queen of Sheba and only son Minulik, the interesting um, and the fun thing for some of us to do, but the challenge for others to be able to do, is to be able to look at the Gutter's script, right? The Gutter's script that's contained here, right, in this volume, and compare it with um, Sir. Uh, e. A. Wallace Budge's translation. So this is this is what we have right here. Now this volume was intended and is intended as an Amharic primer and reader for all students in our Nabab Bait. And the Nabab Bait is the house of reading. This is where we want to really focus a lot of attention on encouraging the brothers and sisters in the learning the Amharic literacy that this is not difficult if we apply ourselves, if we, if we accept the true and living faith of the King of Kings in and through his Christ, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. This is really fundamental for our true Rastafari growth, our Ethiopian Hebrew, our faithful growth in the true and living faith of the King of Kings and his Christ. Education, as Haile Selassie teaches us, it is the key. So this right here is, is part of the Nabah Bait. Nabah Bait is the house of reading, and it's the initial school in the traditional Ethiopic Tawahido or the, what's known as the Orthodox Church, or better, good Amharic literacy and learning. Therefore, this is now uh, published by the LOJ Society, or the Line of Jews Society Ministry of Education and Fine Arts as a useful companion manuscript to our previous parallel Bible version entitled the Amharic Psalms of King David, the first edition revised and annotated. So what we're seeking to do is to publish in volumes like this some of the selected books both in the Gutters as well as in the Amharic, from His Majesty's Bible and the Royal Amharic, some of the older documents like the Kubra Nagast here in the Gutters. So then we now have the authentic text to compare 
the translation that we have been familiar with in the English or the Queen of Sheba and her only son Menelik. So this is a little more a higher level study, but still it, it's very necessary. Now we've taken the, the Christian liberty and have chosen the version that has been previously prepared by um, Mikhail Jabarek that was originally based on the Karl Bezal Kabrnagas and the D. Herliket der Konige, and this is a German name right here, but a document from 1905. Now, special thanks to Mikhail Jabarek and the Institute of Near Eastern Studies, Charles University in the Prague or Prague, and the Library of Ethiopian Texts for their efforts and labor of love in this regard. But this is one of the crucial documents, the Kibra Neges. And now for us to have this as well in the Ethiopic, in the Gutters, so we can take chapter by chapter, verse by verse, and, and look at the English translation, such as has been provided here, for example, in the Queen of Sheba and her only son Minulik, when this is the version that, this is the reason why we favor this version other than some other Kubernetes versions, because the text for these other versions are not known to us, but the text that Sir E.A. Wallace Budge utilized and used is clear to us now, now that we have the Gutters. So we can actually compare translation in the English with the Gutters original and see how well actually Sir E.A. Wallace Budge actually did with his translation and also investigate some of the areas that perhaps we might differ on. So this particular book we also want to put out that we have now available the Kubra Negest, the Kubra Negest, or Kubra Negest, The Glory of Kings, and this is a facsimile of the original Ethiopic text of the Gutters. And it's the manuscript of the Queen of Sheba and her only son, Minulik, that was translated into English by Sir E.A. Wallace Budge. And we, we ask you, and we want to remind you to, you know, when you can, get a copy of this. But it's also available at www.lojsociety.org. And you can click on the books, the books link and the books tab. If you are interested in finding out more about this or ordering a copy of it, like we said, this here is a companion to this document. This document here that we also publish is the English of this document. Now, the size is, a, is kind of an interesting size difference, too. You understand? This is the actual text that became this right here. So, for those who are more linguistically inclined and those who would like to study 